Hi guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to get your tracks out of Ableton and record them uh, as an MP3. So I might have mentioned to you before that Ableton doesn't actually make MP3s, Ableton makes WAVs or AIFs. Uh, so I'll show you how, first of all, how to export uh, your project as an AIF or a WAV file in Ableton. So the first thing, you've, you've uh, set it all up like that, you've you've played your track using all, all the different scenes and you now have something that looks like this. So what you need to do is select the range that Ableton's gonna uh, export and you can see here that th my song goes up to about bar 67 there. Uh, there's nothing beyond that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it an extra couple of bars and select the range from the beginning all the way to a little bit beyond the end. The reason I'm going beyond the end of the track is in case your song has some delay or something, uh, if you select it only where the clips go up to at the end there, it'll cut off the ends of the delays. It'll sound more natural if you give it a little bit of extra time. And then w once you've selected the range, the, co the keyboard command is Command Shift R for render, or you can just go into the file menu and go export audio slash video, and you can see there Shift Command R. When you click that, you need to make sure this says master. If this here doesn't say master, you need to make it say master, otherwise it won't output what you need. Here is the uh, the range that I just selected, this hot yellow line here. And in yours, I think it'll be blue. Um, file type, wave or AIF, doesn't matter. Everything else should be the same here. Uh, you shouldn't have to change anything, but you want 44,116. 44, you just want to pretty much leave everything and it should be fine. And then when you press export, Ableton will ask you where you want to save it. And of course you want to put it in your eighth grade music folder. Um, and so I'm going to call it, of course, uh, Mr. Gainsler Final Project. And that's going to output uh, a wave. As I said, wave or AF doesn't really make a difference. Um, and then when you press save, it'll export, or as you can see here, render, that's what this command shift R is for, it'll render the whole project. And depending how complicated your project is, uh, it'll take a shorter or a longer time to do this, but it's usually not more than, uh, you know, a minute or so to render it. Once you've rendered it, you'll see that if you look in your eighth grade folder, so I go up to here, there it is, 8K Music, and there's my project, and you can see it's 21.2 meg, which is quite large, uh, whereas, as I've mentioned before, MP3s are about a tenth the size. So what you want to do is convert it to an MP3. If you're on a Mac and you have iTunes, I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. First of all, you need to get the thing into iTunes, and easy, the easiest way to do that, if iTunes is not set up as your default player, you just two finger click and open with iTunes. But of course, if iTunes is the default, all you have to simply do is double click on it, and it should play in iTunes. And there it's playing along. So there we're found in iTunes. The next thing you need to do is go iTunes preferences and here on import settings you need to see does it say mp3 wav you need to choose mp3 here this is itunes offering to make these different types of files for you so you can see itunes can also turn anything into a wav mp3 uh apple lossless aif or aac we of course want the mp3 and we want to choose higher quality and then press OK, OK, and then what? once you've got your track, oh, where's my track? There it is. This one, Mr. Gain's the final project. Once you've got that selected, um, you go File, Convert, Create MP3 version. If in that last thing with preferences, if you've got it set up as Wave or AIF, it'll instead say here create Wave version or create AIF version. But you need to make sure it says create MP3 version. And then it just does it. And then you just need to locate it. Um, there it is. It's the second one here. 
And if you do here now, two finger click show in finder, there's the project. And you can see, uh, there's the one I made with Ableton 21.2 meg. And there's the, uh, MP3 version, which is 2.9 meg. And then of course, it's just a case of uploading that MP3 into Google classroom as normal. If you don't have uh, iTunes on your computer, for instance, if say if you're using a PC, you need a separate app to convert your WAV or AIF to MP3. And the best one that I know of is called Alto MP3 Gold. So it's just as simply as typing in Alto, yeah, with one L, MP3 Gold, uh, and just choosing one of these sites here and downloading it from there. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just, uh, it's, it, you can see it's just a trial version. You can pay the full version, but you don't need to. You can just download from here or from any of these, the trial version, uh, just use it. Um, and then there you, it'll give you an MP3. Let me know if you need any further explanation with that.